So for nearly 10 years, I've been developing WordPress themes, and I've been putting up videos here on YouTube teaching people how to code their own custom themes. If you take a look at some of my earlier videos, you see we started off with a very basic workflow. We covered the fundamentals from HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, and how to work with WordPress itself. But over that time, over the past 10 years, a lot has changed. WordPress itself has evolved, and that means that our workflow has to evolve as well. Like I said, if you look back at my earlier videos, you see the very basic, the fundamentals, step by step. But if you look at the video I uploaded last year, it's over five hours long. It's a more detailed process. And since uploading that video, my workflow has evolved significantly. So this time I decided instead of just creating one very long video where I cover every single step of developing a custom WordPress theme, I decided to break it up into segments, into individual videos themselves, and to focus on the very specific aspects of how the process of developing a theme actually works. So this is a new series, it's a new playlist, and there's gonna probably be over 100 videos included in this entire process. And we're gonna be covering every everything from how to set up your local development environment, how to use tools like Composer and Node.js, how to implement automation into your workflow, how to use bash scripting, how to configure aliases on your system, both Windows and Mac OS, how to use the nano code editor, how to implement WPCLI. And on that topic, I did an hour long video. And in that video, I covered a lot of the aspects of what it takes to get WPCLI going. But in this series of videos, I'm gonna enhance that. I'm also gonna be showing you how to use Git for version control. But if you've been following the headlines for the past year, you'll notice there's been a massive increase in attacks in terms of WordPress themes and plugins. There's been vulnerabilities reported left and right. So I figured, let me add another layer to this process. Yeah, we could just sit down at a keyboard in front of our computer and just type away coding a WordPress theme. But my goal has always been to how can I create an effective, productive, efficient workflow that's also very secure. So while no code will ever be 100% secure, we could do everything we possibly can to make sure that we're using best practices. And part of that is using static analysis tools. So in this series of videos, we're gonna be going into static analysis tools like PHP Stan. But it doesn't stop there because you know that not one program can identify every possible issue. So we're going to be adding additional layers to that. We're going to also be using PHP SOM and then we're going to be using PHP mess detector. And then another layer on top of that is going to be PHP fan. But we don't stop there. We're also going to be including PHP insights. Now the benefit of using these static analysis tools is that they help you to identify any potential issues within your code while you're in your development process before you ship it out to a production environment. So this is the ultimate WordPress theme development course that's probably ever been put out there, at least here on YouTube, because it's incorporating so many different aspects of the process. So we're gonna be using five static analysis tools on top of using WordPress coding standards and a PHP code sniffer. But then in this video series, we're also gonna take it further by using dynamic analysis tools as well. And the most widely used one is PHP unit. This is gonna be very important to make sure that we're getting the actual functionality out of our theme that we want to. And we could even test for edge cases. Then after that, we're gonna be using Xdebug, which is another way to step through your code while you're developing your themes. And yeah, WordPress has evolved over the years. Previously, we only had the classic editor, but today we have the block editor. And people have choices. But if you notice, if you go into the WordPress.org website and you go to the theme section, the overwhelming majority of themes are going to be hybrid themes, not 100% block themes, not 100% classic themes, but hybrid themes. So DevWP is a hybrid WordPress theme. It gives people the option to either use the classic editor or to use the block editor. And beyond that, we can use the customizer to make sure that our theme, our website, the front end, looks exactly how we want it to look. But this is a development theme. It's always a work in progress and every theme is like that. That's why you get a million notifications whenever you start up your WordPress website or whenever you check your smartphone or your tablet or your laptop. It seems like code always needs to be updated. Now, who is this course for? This is for anyone who wants to get started in WordPress theme development. This is also for people who have been doing this for years. This is my workflow. This is something that I've been working on for years to make as efficient as possible. I show you step-by-step step with either Mac OS or Windows. We're gonna be going over how to use grep and how to use find. We're gonna do deep dives into the terminal. By the end of this video series, you will have 
the understanding of how everything ties in together. And that's going to be very important because it'll give you a greater capability to identify how to add new functionality to your theme. And now you're going to notice that the first series of videos or the first part of the videos that are added to the series are going to be all about configuration. And the reason why I'm doing that is because setting up your developer environment initially to be the exact way you want it to be might be a, a small investment in time initially, but will be a significant time saver later on. Now, WordPress powers well over 40% of the modern web and has over 60% of the CMS or content management system market. And that number is growing. Yeah, there's a couple of other competitors out there, but if you look at the actual numbers, WordPress is the dominant force and every WordPress website needs a WordPress theme. And there's already millions of websites already using WordPress. That means you have a large user base of potential clients or potential people who would purchase your theme. I mean, think about it. One of the most successful themes out there is the Avada theme. That one sells about 5,000 themes per month at $70 per sale. Now do the math on that. That is a significant amount of money they're making. By learning how to code custom WordPress themes, you'll also be able to take on freelance work or you'll be able to work for a larger agency. By understanding how all these different types of technologies work together, if you do work for an agency, you can feel confident that you know how to get started real quickly. The onboarding process won't be as difficult. There's a quote that I actually enjoy a lot, and it's a quote that's been changed over the years. And over that time, it actually has a negative connotation. Jack of all trades, master of none. But that's actually not the quote itself. It's jack of all trades, master of one. You fine tune your knowledge on one particular topic, but then you learn enough about each and every other topic that surrounds it. And by doing that, you're going to enhance your creativity and you're going to enhance your understanding of how to get a final project done. But then I take it a little bit further and I'm going to change the quote myself because I honestly think that nobody can master all of this or any of this. You could spend 10 years just on studying WordPress, but remember WordPress is changing constantly. You could spend 10 years focusing just on PHP or just focusing on JavaScript. But guess what? Those languages evolve as well. So now I like to say jack of all trades, mastering one. And that pretty much entails the fact that you're going to always be learning. I'm still learning. There's so much more that I need to figure out myself. And this is my journey and I want to help you along your path. So I'm providing these videos right here on YouTube and I'm going to show you all the code. I'm going to step through it step by step, line by line. And if you want to support the channel, you can head on over to my website, picksomeweb.com and purchase a copy of DevWP. This is a project I've been working on for almost 10 years straight. And again, we started off with a very basic workflow, but now we have a very advanced process. Just to recap, we're going to be going over how to set up your developer environment, how to use the underscores theme, how to use Bootstrap for the front end framework, how to set up your own nav walker. I'm going to show you how to no longer need to depend on some of the dependencies like Gulp or Grunt or any of the others out there. We're going to create our own custom code that's going to handle the minification and concatenation of files. We're going to be going over how to ensure that we're using best practices. And the goal is to make sure that we release highly effective themes, themes that have the features and functionality people are looking for, with an emphasis on performance and security. Now, the beauty of this process is that you could take what you learn here with the static analysis tools, with the dynamic analysis tools with XDebug, and you could actually start going through some of the other plugins and themes and see how they work. And you might be able to find a bug in that that you could actually get paid to resolve. There's a bunch of bug bounty programs out there. WordFriends has one. There's another one that is uh, by HackerOne. And there's a bunch of organizations you could work with. So if you want to get started quickly developing custom WordPress themes that you could sell on your website or to help clients get their site up and running, then make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification icon. And if you want to support this channel, then again, head over to picksomeweb.com and make a purchase of DevWP. You will get all of the code. And even better, you're going to get the documentation built into the theme itself. So that way, while you're coding, you could always reference some of the topics. So what can you expect? Over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be uploading about 10 to 15 videos per week. And they're going to be very focused on WordPress theme development, step by step from the initial steps of configuring your developer environment, all the way to the more advanced features. Like again, using WP CLI, using bash scripts, using aliases, using the terminal, using the nano editor, using static analysis tools, dynamic analysis tools. And the reason for all these videos is because again, 
WordPress is evolving. That means that DevWP has to evolve. And in order for that to happen, my process has to evolve. And I want to share my journey with you. And if you find it useful, I hope you support the channel. And as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Happy coding.